Well, it's a nice night. Nice Saturday evening here. Spring in Canada. And uh, I'm going to have a smoke. I've been thinking about doing a YouTube channel for a little while. And I want to thank my friend on Instagram, OCD Piper, for giving me the idea, thinking that this would probably go over well. So we'll see how it goes. This is one of my favorite pipes. It's the Brebbia Sun uh, 602 model with a Meerschaum lined bowl. Meerschaum pipes for me are the official pipes of, let's have another bowl, just one more. You can't go wrong by smoking a second bowl in a Meerschaum. And this tobacco is also one of my favorites. This is the Ahab's Comfort from Watch City Cigar. They uh, make some nice tobaccos. I also like their Spills Bane, which was their Christmas blend a little while back. Frequently when I'm out reviewing a new tobacco, I'll pack a bowl of whatever it is I'm checking out, and I'll also bring out this pipe in a jar of Ahab's Comfort and say, now that if I'm getting into my groove reading a book or researching something, I'm gonna wanna just keep sitting here. This is usually in my second bowl. This jar is getting a little, a little dry, so I've just had it in my car for a couple of months as my go-to uh, blend on the go. That's nice. My work week is usually a uh, Tuesday to Saturday, so Saturday afternoon, this is my Friday. I get to sit back and relax and know that I've got Sunday and Monday to look forward to. And this week is no exception. It's got a very earthy undertone. With a very sweet, spicy, smoky overtone. One of the things I really like about this pipe is that it takes one of the uh, Peterson charcoal filters so it gives me a very clean, smooth taste. I uh, can't remember how many times they recommend you use them between swapping them out. I probably swap them out too soon. I usually get two or three bowls and then on to the next one. Uh, 
I like to read while I sit out here and smoke my pipe. Right now I'm reading through Lord of the Rings, Two Towers. Uh, I bought this copy when I was in grade five. Got the trilogy. Read it for the first time in grade five. Read the trilogy for the second time. So grade five would have been 1994. Read the trilogy for the second time in 2003, uh, just before the third Lord of the Rings movie came out. So I wanted to be all caught up. And when I realized it had been 18 years since I'd read it last, I decided to pull it out again. But this pipe, this tobacco, I smoked it for the first time a little while ago. Did I take all my tasting and smoking notes here? Started up back into pipe tobacco again about a year and a half ago. Started keeping track of all the blends I'd tried. This was about 14 months ago I gave this one a try and the book I was reading at the time was Papillon by Henri Charrière. I loved the movie as a kid. I uh, loved the book even more when I read it. I was disappointed to see that the new movie they came out with, the remake of Papillon, was uh, a remake of the original movie and not closer to the book. And if you get a chance, the book is really good. And one of those sense memory things with smoking and with reading, you uh, remember something so intently. Intensely, I was smoking this tobacco and I was reading a scene in the book when Papillon buries his friend at sea and at sunset and he sees the body attacked by sharks bobbing up and down in the, in the light of the sunset. And now every time I smoke this, the first few puffs Takes me right back to that part of the story. It's creamy, almost got like a, almost a sweetness of a kind of an, a root beer kind of complexity to it. Let's see here, the uh, See what I thought of this the first time I smoked it. The first of many. So there's an easy crumble and an easy light. Cool smoke, creamy mouthfeel. Light spice and raisin. An earthy cinnamon on the retro retrohale. And as I got into the late bowl, uh, I started getting hints of spearmint. There are two things I really like <coughs> about pipe smoking. One of them is that taking the time to smoke the pipe, to actually take a draw from it. Slows down the conversation, makes it more thoughtful, gives you time to consider what you're going to say next. The other thing I like a lot about pipe smoking is the pipe point. Gives you a chance to emphasize your point in a way that can't be refuted. Pipe point.
But other than that, the things I like most about pipe smoking are relaxing, taking some time to focus on just the one thing. At most, I focus on uh, smoking a pipe, reading a book, and enjoying a glass of wine. Maybe add a little bit of music in this. Maybe it's four things all at once sometimes, but it's, uh, it's relaxing and it closes the rest of the world away. I'm kind of a foodie person, so I like experiencing flavors and textures and coffees and beers and liquors and cocktails and wines and tobaccos really fit neatly into there. It gives me a chance to really think about what I'm tasting. And there's a lot of classic craftsmanship that goes into not only pipes as uh, collector's pieces, as a piece of functional art, but in the crafting and the blending and the aging of different types of pipe tobacco. It's a proud tradition. It's a complex history. And in later videos, we'll get into my feelings on history. It's fun. Wait for that. I also really enjoy the community. There's lots of good people out there. I imagine some of the people watching this video are going to be people that I've interacted with a lot on different social media platforms, mostly Facebook and Instagram. I want to give a shout out to uh, uh, TLOC, T L O C, the Tobacco Lovers of Canada. They're the group that really brought back my interest in tobacco. Uh, as my uh, account name suggests, I like cigars and bars, but that equally could be uh, extended to pipes and pints, bowls and bourbons, Really any combination of tobacco and alcohol. And although I was more into cigars, pipes have really kind of taken over my interest. Pipe smoking is different than a cigar. There's a lot more variation, I find. Like widely varying flavors in in pipe tobacco is more than I find in cigars. Cigars tend to have, for me, more of a subtle variation in flavor. Cigars are harder to maintain. Uh, you need to be more careful storing them. You need to be more careful transporting them. You can't just stick them in a pocket and hope for the best and hope you get there and it hasn't been bent or snapped. Uh, you don't want that to happen to a pipe either, but the briar will hold up more than your average church on. Although I do find if I'm out for a hike, a cigar is a more preferable option. Just light it and go. When you're done, you don't need to pack something back into a pocket. You just it's just done. It's gone. So we may get some videos of cigar smoking on the go. But most of my relaxing time, sitting around, having a smoke here on my balcony, most of the time I'm reaching for a pipe.
Should be a good season. Should be a good year, I hope. The world's become a scary place, a frightening place, cut off from a lot of people. Lots of things have changed, lots of things have gone away. Living in a pandemic is something that you tell your children and your grandchildren about, something that you make real for them. And I'm starting to feel that the world might be coming back to its senses sometime soon. I feel like this is going to be a good year. Yeah, if it is a good year, we can celebrate with lots of caramelizing smokes. And if it's not, we can commiserate with lots of caramelizing smokes. Well, I'm going to finish smoking this bowl, probably pack another one, catch up on some of my reading before the sun sets. Thanks for joining me out there in YouTube land. This has been Pipe Corner, and I'll see you next time.